Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss a very interesting application that is uh, provided by the Mathworks. So everywhere nowadays we are talking about the AI enable tools, right? So AI is playing very important role. So uh, why we cannot use it in programming? Mathworks recently uh, launched a very nice uh, AI chat playground where you can create the codes for your problems. So it's very interesting. I found it uh, very useful, so especially uh, when you are uh, in your early stage, you want to explore the codes, how you should uh, create a framework for a particular problem. All these things you can get uh, very easily. And even when you are uh, advanced in MATLAB as well, at that time, it is also very useful. And sometimes we forget the syntax, uh, so many things. We forget the complete flow of the program, all these things. So that you can easily get using this uh, chat playground, right? So basically, this chat playground is very useful uh, because uh, it talks uh, in the language of MATLAB, you can say, right? So we will check that with the help of uh, some problems. So I think uh, that will be uh, very useful for you. So this is the link through which you can go to that playground, right? So when I click on this link, uh, you can go to the MathWorks site, okay? Or directly you can go to the MathWorks uh, website and there uh, you can go to the uh, community and in the community, there's the AI chat playground, right? So there are multiple ways through which you can go to that AI chat playground. Once you will go there, uh, it will ask to sign, okay? And I will provide link into the description also. So here you have to sign and after that you can put your problem. So sometimes uh, it depends on the availability. If you sign, uh, you solve one problem and it may uh, sign out or it may create some problems. So again, you have to sign, right? So these are the simple problem facing with the AI uh, tools, right? Because they are in a developing stage like that. So we are just starting with the problem, right? So we have uh, such kind of problem. Suppose uh, an amount of 50,000 was invested among the three funds, a money market fund that paid 3% uh, annually, a municipal bonds that paid 4% annually, and mutual fund that paid 7% annually. The amount invested in mutual funds was 10,000 more than the amount invested in municipal bonds. The total interest uh, earned during the first year was uh, 2650, how much was I invested in the each type of the fund? So how we can formulate this problem? How we can solve this problem? So obviously, uh, three kind of funds are given there, some interest rate are given there, and the relation between two funds is given there. Uh, so, so you can get idea, yes, we have to uh, build some equations here, right? So you have to create some equations and you have to solve those equations. Okay, so that is the task. So you can uh, do that uh, manually, no problem. But uh, if you feed this, to that uh, chat playground, how you will get the output. So we would like to see that, okay. So first try to solve this uh, without that uh, chat playground, right? Uh, if you want to enjoy the solution, right? So currently I'm not solving that uh, because it will make the video longer, okay? So the main objective is to use the AI chat playground. So how we can use this problem, okay? So I just copy this problem and uh, I will paste in the AI chat playground. Now I sign it, okay? So for that, uh, you should have MathWorks account. Uh, if you do not have, you can create a new account because that is required. Uh, without that, you cannot use uh, this application. So I have already my MathWorks account uh, with this ID. So I'm just logging in. So now we have entered into the AI chat playground, right? So this is the uh, interface for that. So here you have to write your prompt or whatever the command you want to write here. So once you will write here, you will get the solution here. The good thing is that within this environment you can execute your code okay and uh, simply i copy that problem here and i have not given any instruction you have to write a program in matlab all these things but it will uh, do it in matlab because you are in the matlab uh, environment we can say right so i just something went wrong please try again so such kind of problem may be there so based on the availability so for that uh, you may require to uh, log in again Yes, so now you can check, uh, we are getting the solution. So here you can check. So uh, I just given uh, this problem, I have not given how to solve, in what uh, application you solve this. So it is giving you first uh, the formulation, uh, how the equations are formed, x plus y plus z is equal to 50,000. And again, the relation between the z and y. So all these things and uh, relation between the interest, what different interests are given. and uh, 
this assumption is also given uh, to solve this problem. Uh, let's uh, money market fund is represented by X. All these things. So very nicely uh, it is uh, uh, solved. And uh, here the code is written to solve that problem. Okay. So uh, we use the sims uh, symbolic mathematics is used here to solve the equation, right? So uh, yeah. So uh, the thing is that uh, if you are not uh, familiar with this code or you are not able to understand this code. So for that fundamentals are important, right? You should understand the fundamentals. Once you are good with the fundamentals, you can easily uh, explore uh, or uh, you can easily um, solve the problems or you can understand the code. You can get the code, but uh, for understanding that your fundamentals should be clear. Okay. So for that, you can uh, refer my course, which uh, link is uh, given in the description, right? So how we can uh, solve this? So here, uh, if you click on this, code will run, or you can just uh, transfer this code to this side, okay? So here you can put some additional command, or if you want to modify all these things, you can do here. So I run this, or you can command the code. A lot of options are here, okay? So I run this, so it is executing. Online it is executing. So I'm not getting any output. Why? Because I put here this semicolon, right? So, or, or we can check. Uh, for the solution, we have copied uh, code up to this point, right? Uh, so, but uh, for the solution, just to solve the solution, we have another set of quotes or lines. So the solution will give by the values x, y, z that has been the amount invested, okay? So x, y, z. So you can check here. So again, I copy this. Now I run this. Now we can get the solution. Yeah. So we are getting for x. 10,000 for Y, 15,000, and for Z, it is a 25,000. So the problem is solved. So very easily we are able to solve the problem. We have not given any instruction you have to solve in the MATLAB because uh, we are solving the MATLAB problem. We are within the MATLAB environment, right? So it's very easy. So we can say prompting is very easy. You are just uh, writing the problem and you are getting the solution, okay? So I hope uh, this is the one problem that you have understood. Now we uh, move to another problem. So that is a little we can say about the plotting. So currently we solve a simple problem with the equations. Now we take a little harder problem. So uh, in this problem, uh, we have an electrical circuit uh, with the inductance of L is equal to 0 0.01 millihenry. This is the resistance value and this is the frequency of oscillations, right? So we want to calculate uh, or uh, plot this frequency. We want to calculate this frequency for the different value of uh, C. Okay, so the specification given here. So calculate and plot the frequency for different values of C, varying from 0 0.1 to 1 in a step of 0 0.1. Right. So you have to uh, solve this problem in the MATLAB. So again, we can uh, solve this using the uh, AI check playground. So in such problems. Uh, how you can feed this uh, kind of mathematical expression. So here we have very uh, simple mathematical expression, but suppose uh, if you have some complex uh, mathematical expression, how you will feed that? So in all, uh, um, if we talk about the chat GPT or uh, if we talk out about this tool, so whatever the tools we have in that, these mathematical expression given in the format of LaTeX format, right? Or either uh, here you can, uh, how you write in the MATLAB, environment in the same way you can write that expression or otherwise you can write uh, in the form of uh, latex command so latex command work in uh, all these uh, ai generative tools so what is the prompt for this this is the simple prompt uh, that you will enter here so uh, the first thing is not changed so i have written this uh, mathematical equation in a uh, matlab format simply how you will enter it in the matlab in the same way i have put it here okay so i just copy it and uh, paste here. So because uh, if some time is passed, it uh, throw this error, something went wrong. So once you copy, quickly put here, paste here and uh, just uh, run that. So I have to reload it. Now copy here and see. Yes, it is done. So this is the code that we can copy here. So you can check. Uh, it is given this is the inductance value, resistance value. C, uh, in what range we have taken uh, the instruction we have given this is the frequency right to calculate the frequency and all x labels y label title everything is written according to your problem right now you can run this and you can check the output yeah now you can see how it is uh, very nicely no? so uh, and a very uh, nice piece of uh, code we can say it is written 
So what we want, uh, that is written over here. You can uh, modify that code as per your requirement if it is not expected. Because these are the generative tools, obviously, uh, there may be some uh, problem sometimes. But you get some idea, basic idea, right? So far, it is working very nice. Okay. So this problem is uh, solved very easily. Now I move to a little complex problem, and uh, definitely you will uh, enjoy that problem. Okay. So this is a problem. So it's a, a very common problem that I generally take in my course training program, right? So uh, again, today I'm not going to discuss the solution, uh, how we are solving all these things. So basically, if I summarize this, here we have uh, some uh, spring mass damper system, right? So it uh, gives this second order uh, ordinary differential equation with some initial condition. So it's a ordinary differential equation, initial value problem, basically. Okay. So Suppose this kind of a system is given and the values of uh, uh, these are K, C, M, all these values are given and initial value of this also given, displacement value is also given. So how you can solve this using this AI check, uh, playground? So for normal problem, we have to break this into two first order OD and after that we solve. So these things again I have discussed in, within my course. So I'm not going in deep how to solve this using MATLAB. So this is the solution uh, how uh, I generally solve. So I will show you that solution also when I use uh, my solution, when I use my approach, uh, what is the output? And when I prompt this to the uh, AI chat playground, what is the output? So we can verify that, okay? So uh, if you want to prompt this problem to the chat playground, how you will prompt that? Right? So I have written prompt. So I have uh, verified using this prompt, okay? What I'm writing, you can check here. So I'm just describing this problem, nothing else. I am not uh, giving any information about the ordinary differential equation or anything. So I am just describing this system. So you can check here. I have written solve a, a spring mass damper problem using ODE45. So ODE45 is the solver for uh, solving the ordinary differential equation, right? Uh, so that in the MATLAB. So for mass m is equal to 10. So I have given the value and these are specifications. Mass 10, spring coefficient k is equal to 15, damper coefficient c is equal to 5 for time t is equal to 10 right so this is the time so displacement is represented by x and the initial value of x at t is equal to 0 is 1 plot velocity and displacement with respect to time in same figure so this is the prompt which i have provided so here i have not uh, given the information about the connections how these are connected all these things suppose uh, there is some different configuration in that case you may require to give information about that all these things right so a very simple prompt I have given. So now you can check whether it will be able to solve this problem or not. Okay. So I just copy this prompt. Okay. And here, uh, if you want to download the code, uh, we have the option to download a code as an file, right? If uh, this is final, uh, your code is final, then you can download it. You can copy it. All these things are given here. Okay. So I just copy here the code. So I had to again login so sometimes it's not uh, available so availability problem is there so maybe it is a development phase so that's why we are facing all these problems right so we have to keep try all these things but yes uh, it is working very nicely now i copy this here yes it is solved yes so i can just copy the code this side so you can check here so it defines the parameter how uh, nicely it is writing right uh, it is giving uh, the complete uh, description about the problem also so easily you can uh, understand the code uh, at later stage so it is defining the parameters these are the parameter input parameters right these are initial conditions and define the time span okay define the od function uh, it is given the od function so you can check here the function is of the similar kind what i have taken my problem so uh, this kind of, uh, so it is taking the same kind of uh, function. After it is solving and uh, extract the displacement velocity and plotting the result. Okay, so now I run this. Wow, you can check here, uh, it is giving the complete solution. So really it's very hard to solve this problem for the students. So they are in a initial phase, we can say they are not uh, comfortable with the ODE, all these things. So now you can check it's a, uh, um, work of uh, fraction of seconds we can say so we are getting the solution of ordinary differential equation right so i just tested it for a few problems uh, but you can uh, use this for uh, 
any kind of the MATLAB problem that you want to solve, right? Only the, we can say the intelligence in the prompt, what kind of prompt you are providing. So by providing appropriate prompt, uh, you can get solved the problem. So now it is very easy to take the help. Previously, we put uh, some problem in the uh, forum. After that, we are waiting for uh, time. So it may take some time. Now you can get the solution instantly. Uh, we can say it's a very nice facility provided by the MathWork. Okay. So now you can explore uh, your knowledge. Your, uh, you can easily understand all these things. So I think uh, it is going to be very helpful for you. Right. If you want to check the uh, output of my program that I generally provided, right? So I can show you that also, as I promised you. So this is the code uh, which I generally write for this problem, right? So uh, here I have not written all these things. Uh, we can say the comments I have not written. So I have generated a uh, separate function, and this is the script. So approach may be different, but that is also very nice approach. Okay. So if I copy this code and uh, copy here. So I just copy here my code and I run this. So I have not put semicolon at the end, so I'm getting all these things. Yes, you can check here. So we are get, getting the exact solution. Okay, so this is the solution through my uh, code, and uh, this is the solution through uh, this uh, AI check playground code. So I have given very uh, simple description of the problem. I have not feed any diagram, all these things, and we are getting the solution. So now uh, I hope uh, you can understand the power of this uh, tool. Okay. So I think uh, now you will be able to solve your uh, problems of any kind. You will be able to take the help or using this tool. So enjoy this tool. If you have any doubt, you can write to me on my email ID or you. Don't uh, forget to like this video and share with your friends. Definitely, it is going to helpful for all the uh, users. They are using uh, MATLAB in their research or anywhere. Thank you for watching. Thank you.